Alto's Adventure, The Spirit of the Mountain, was released on Apple Arcade on Friday, March 25th, 2022. This is the remastered version. It's basically a snowboarding game. The footage here is from an Apple TV. And right away, that highlights one of my favorite features of this game. It can be played with the Apple TV remote. A controller is optional. Very nice. That's because this game originates on mobile. I hadn't played it before, and if not for Apple Arcade, I might never have played this game. That's the conundrum of Apple Arcade. While many gamers are not impressed by redos of classic mobile games, there are lots of other gamers that might have missed this one. And let's be real, it's a $10 game on Mac OS. While not expensive, that cost is high enough for me to not take a chance on it. So that raises the big question. If I let my Apple Arcade subscription expire, would I be buying Alto's Adventure to keep playing it? Hmm, that's a tough one. First, let's look at the good aspects of this game. It's very pretty. The game has nice music. The graphics are crisp. The gameplay is fun and simple. You press the main button to jump and then hold the button to rotate the snowboarder counterclockwise. That's how you flip. It's very similar to Ski Safari. Perhaps that's why I have trouble fully enjoying Alto's Adventure. I miss Ski Safari. I really like that game. I've even given away the app as Christmas card gifts. It's zany and goofy. Just look at the comparison. The guy is dressed like a ninja, riding a snowmobile with an abominable snowman and a bald eagle. Alto's Adventure is not goofy like that. However, there's nothing left for me to do in Ski Safari, so it's nice to play this game. I've seen a lot of admiration for Alto's Adventure, so I wondered which game was first. It looks like Ski Safari was first. Updates in that game on iOS go back 10 years, while the update notes for Alto's Adventure go back 7 years. So, Apple Arcade is not expensive, but it is a subscription service. So, that subscription requires justification. What do you get that's new? Well, here's what the update notes say. Hello adventurers, with the release Alto's Adventure, The Spirit of the Mountain on Apple Arcade, we are excited to introduce you to a number of new features unique to this remastered edition of the App Store Classic. Keep your eye out for a series of never before seen set pieces revealing a brand new playable character and gameplay opportunities along the way. A host of lost goals to hunt down, specifically designed to be tackled by this mysterious new character. And the ability to import existing Alto's Adventure 2015 progress. Pick up right where you left off. Now, I don't know about you, but that last bullet point was disturbing to me. How is 2015 seven years ago? <laughs> wow, where did those years go? But anyway, I'm not familiar with the original, so I don't know the significance of these new features. Although, it looks like there's a character to unlock. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with this tree piece I picked up. There's certainly a different mood with Alto's Adventure. It does have a greater sense of exploration than Ski Safari. Perhaps it's the goals. Although, that leads to my biggest criticism of this game. Now, I'm a web developer, and if you are too, you might be familiar with Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. Now, I'm not here to check if Alto's Adventure meets WCAG 2.1 compliance. Well, come on! When the game switches to night mode, a lot of things become difficult to see. The game has dark text on a dark background. That's a big no-no in design. People should be able to read the words on the screen. It's worse than that though. A big part of this game is avoiding obstacles. I'll be chilling out, having a good time, and then wham, I hit a rock. It's very frustrating that I'm supposed to spot a tiny silhouette in order to avoid instant failure. That's unfortunate because the game's day and night cycle is very pretty. It's not quite the same beauty of Skate City, 
where the sunsets are amazing, but Alto's Adventure is nice. The problem is that nighttime in this game makes things very hard to see. I think this game could take a cue from Mini Motorways, which has a high contrast mode. They realized that some people might have trouble differentiating between the colors of the buildings. So that setting can be customized. I didn't see any such way to customize Alto's Adventure to make the text and the rocks more visible. I did play the game in 4K on my Mac though. That was nice. <laughs> but it does show the age of my 2018 Mac Mini. I had to turn off anti-aliasing. Otherwise, the frame rate was poor. Anyway, what do you think about this game? Also, if I figure out how to unlock this secret character, are you interested in a video about that? You can let everyone know in the comments. Thanks for watching.